this is a complete kiss pistol kit for building what is basically a Glock 17. All the parts are in that. This is what the ATF calls a ghost gun. But for firearm specialists like Ben Bittler, it's a kit for a personally built firearm. All you would do is drill these holes out, cut the top parts, and then cut out the middle section. This is not something that's done easy. Bittler owns a company that builds custom rifles. He doesn't build these types of guns, but had a kit he was willing to show us. When it comes to these kits, we're just going to completely stay away from them because it just causes trouble for us. He says building one takes a lot of time, effort, and a level of expertise. It does not take 30 minutes to build one of these. It takes hours, if not days, to build one of these kits. Besides the pistol kit, Bittler also showed us a kit for an AR-15. When it comes to the AR-15, there's 157 different parts for it, and each one of them has its own place, its own pin. It is a nightmare if you don't have the right tools for even doing it. The major difference is in the lower receiver. The kit would require hours of work, milling the trigger well, cutting holes. So this is a firearm you would have to do a background check on. This one is not. So technically, according to the laws, this is just a piece of metal is all it is. It's a paperweight. But a new federal rule introduced last month would make this a firearm requiring a background check, which to Bittler doesn't make much sense. People that want to use these for nefarious purposes, they're not even going to waste their time with this because it takes too long and it's not something they're going to be able to use right away. He sees the people who build these kits as hobbyists. The ATF admits many are, but they are closing the loophole they say criminals can exploit to make sure nobody can get a full kit without a background check. In Kansas City, Matt Evans, KBC9 News.